Hello horror fans, it's Money G the Horror Meister here and today I'm going to do a video about me. Yeah, that's right, me. You know, like, who am I? Where do I live? And why do I like horror? And how I got into horror? Well, let's talk about uh, uh, me first. Well, my actual name is Lamont Smith. That's right, Lamont Smith. Uh, I live in uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That's right, the city of Buttery Love. Uh, I was born and raised in South Philadelphia, to be precise. Uh, I am uh, happily married. My uh, lovely wife is Kelly Shree Stummer Smith. Uh, we will be uh, married in 20 years on September 20th. So, happily married for 20 years. Uh, as far as uh, myself is concerned, uh, I actually do work. I work in tech support. Been doing that for the past almost 13 years for right now. So I don't get paid to put up YouTube videos. It's just a hobby. But we'll talk about that later. Uh, uh, the main thing. I want to talk about is why horror? How did I get into horror? Oh uh, well, uh, I actually got into horror. I would say probably when I was about five, no, six or seven years old. Probably when I saw some of the old Universal uh, Universal monsters, such as Frankenstein, the Wolfman, and uh, Dracula. And I was watching uh, Drac, uh, no, Frankenstein was the movie Frankenstein. In the scene where he catches on fire, I actually thought that was quite funny. And I saw the mummy, thought that was funny. So the wolf man thought that was funny. I actually thought horror pictures weren't horror or scary. I thought they were funny. They made me laugh. And eventually I started loving horror pictures. I eventually got into, now being because I lived in Philadelphia back in the day, where we didn't have all these channels, we just had, uh, you know, 3, 6, 10, 12, and then we had the UHF channels. Yeah, UHF. Um, it was 17, 48, 17 and 48 and 29. And mostly on Saturdays, you always have those creature feature movies. And I love those creature feature movies. You know, from the Colossal Man, um, I think it was Tarantula, uh, Attack on the Giant Gila Monster. Those old 50 movies, I like them. You know, of course, you know, the Godzilla pictures and uh, Mothra. And uh, Gamera, the giant turtle, all those creature feature movies. I fell in love with them. And then eventually they start showing some of the uh, old uh, Hammer production films. You know, the British film company that starred the great late Christopher Lee as Count Dracula, who I considered one of the best actors to portray uh, the, the, the vampire. I uh, saw so mainly, uh, let's see, Dracula, A.D., uh, Dracula, Prince of Darkness, Dracula has risen from the grave. I all thought they were funny. They made me laugh. And I just wound up laughing at almost all those pictures. And that's how I really got into horror. I thought horror pictures were not scary. They weren't creepy. I thought they were funny. They made me laugh. I just couldn't wait to sit down and watch the TV, me and my brother. And then I watched TV and actually imitate Christopher Lee. Uh, some scenes where he says, do it, do it. Or he would goes, my revenge has been complete. I thought it was funny lines, you know. As I got older and saw more horror pictures, and I actually thought they were more funny. Uh, yeah, creepy. They eventually saw the creepiness in horror pictures, but that's how I got into the horror genre is because I always thought horror pictures were funny. Not scary, not weird, but just plain funny. Uh, eventually, as I got older, um, went and saw The Exorcist. Uh, that really was a, that actually was the first film that creeped me out a bit because Reagan and uh, Linda Blair and all that makeup was very creepy. I uh, did laugh at some of the other parts, but because I can't help it. I got a morbid sense of humor. You'll find out that I do have a morbid sense of humor. And, uh, you know, so I saw, you know, The Exorcist, uh, eventually saw Jaws, you know, really nothing funny about that. Uh, but Jaws kind of changed me a little bit because... You know, uh, because, you know, sharks are real. And till this day, I refuse to go into any ocean. Don't mind lakes, don't mind swimming pools, but if you try to get me to an ocean, nope, sharks are there. Nope, you can be eaten by a shark. You can be bitten by a shark. Sorry, I refuse to go into the water, so that's out of the question. So anyway, uh, I eventually saw all the slasher pictures, because I'm, uh, you know, I'm 54 years, I'll be 53. So that's let me know, let you know right now. And I was uh, probably during the mid-80s. I grew up in the slasher area of horror. So I saw basically all the slasher films. 
and eventually uh, saw Friday the 13th, Halloween, and all the slasher films. And eventually, um, I started reading this magazine called Fangora, if I got that correctly. And that's where I really got into horror. You know, uh, gore effects did not bother me. I thought they were funny. Other funny gore effects did not bother me. I'm not really a gore hound, as I know some people are. Uh, so all the George A. Romero zombie pictures, that didn't bother me at all. You know, and I eventually just fell in love in the horror genre. You know, you know special effects, I love practical effects more than I do digital effects. I understand why some people do it. But I do love practical effects because they look more real than some of the fake stuff CGI can do. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people ask me, what's your favorite horror movie, Bonnie G? Well, I have lots of favorite horror movies. Uh, what's your favorite horror genre? Well, it can be. I have really not a favorite. You know, I love vampires. I love ghost stories. I love the paranormal. As long as it's good. As long as it's good, it's effective, it's creepy. Uh, it has some good jump scares in it. That's what I think an effective horror movie should be. And as long as it's good. Uh, speaking of uh, why I laugh at horror pictures, um, there is a scene in The Devil's Rejects um, where, uh, in the scene where uh, the wife of the dude that the guy killed, can't remember his name right now, he, she has a, uh, the, her husband's face mask painted on her face so she can't see shit. And so she stumbles out of the apartment and she wanders out into the road and I'm already saying, uh-oh, she's going to get it. And of course... No later than, uh, say, about three or four seconds later, she gets smashed with a Mack truck. And I just died laughing. Now, my wife went to see this picture. She just looked at me like I was crazy. She said, something's wrong with you, Lamont. There's no way in the world that's not funny. I said, yes, it is. It's funny. I cracked the hell up. It was funny shit. I couldn't help it. I got a morbid sense of humor, people. And uh, that's, you know, that's that's just what I love about horror. It's not just... Yeah, I find some of the things funny. It's just that that's just my favorite film. No, I do have, I do like other types of films, you know. Well, I'll talk about that later. It's about some of the other films. But it's just that I just love horror. I love, that's why I just fell in love with it. The creepiness, uh, the weirdness of it, the unexpected. I mean, about, you know, what's going to happen. I love all in all, you know. I really don't have a specific subgenre of horror, whether it's a horror comedy Whereas I know some, now some horror pictures are not meant to be funny, but they are funny to me. It's just how they just came out. But the horror comedy is concerned, like Warm Bodies or, or Shaun of the Dead, they're okay. Uh, I saw both those pictures, those pictures, they're okay. They have their place in the horror genre because they're, they were pretty good. And I like what they did with the concept of, of, uh, of both those pictures. But not really good. That's not really my favorite subject of uh, horror comedy. But, uh, but uh, yeah. So that's about it. Uh, I think I said about everything I can think about right now. Uh, as far as my channel is concerned, uh, I will not only just review horror movies that come out, I also review horror TV shows. Uh, I'm trying to think whether or not well, I will do a Walking Dead uh, uh, review. Uh, I did love that episode tonight. I might decide to do a review of The Walking Dead, whether it might be a uh, weekly review or it might be just a season preview. I haven't decided what I'll do yet. I'll probably do some other stuff on my channel. I'll have a channel update and talk about what I'm going to do with the channel and uh, what I expect the channel to be. And hopefully my uh, subscriptions will come up pretty quickly as I'm trying to get at least 50 probably the year uh, 50 subscribers by the end year so hopefully my friends my youtube friends out there will get the word out and uh we'll get the word out too so that's about it uh that'll be the video for today uh like this video subscribe to my channel i will also put links down because you can uh, follow me on facebook twitter and instagram as well i'm money g the horror miser and always horror rules